making them dirt road dollars Way out yonder, having them hollers Doing it like our fathers Put up on them tractors, sliding them pastures Making it rain like water Farm boy dough, 24 karat gold corn rolls Lunch break by a couple sweet tea swallers Right back to making them dirt road dollars All right, what's up and good morning, you guys. Welcome back to CJ Farms. It's Justin, and uh, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking all these bales, which were uh, 2018 bales from the power station. And, well, not all of them. I'm going to take the load, so anywhere from 10 to 14. And uh, I'm going to transport them over because we have our cows over there right now, and that's where we're going to be feeding them. And we wanted to get this stuff gone while there's no snow on the ground, so... We can feed them this stuff first to where it's not so uh, detrimental on their rumens and on their bodies right now. And uh, so we got to take that. And then I've got four bales from a custom job I did uh, early this summer that I've uh, left there at the property that I got to go pick up. So we're going to be doing a lot of uh, a lot of hay transport today. So. Well, we got it loaded. Only got 11 bales on this because it is all loose hay, pretty much. And uh, I didn't want to test my luck too far, but I went ahead and I cut all the uh, net wrap that was hanging down below the trailer so it wouldn't get snagged on the road or anything like that. Not going too far, so I'm not too worried about it, but do what we can to help keep it cleanish. <laughs> so uh, yeah let me throw a strap over this sucker and we'll get headed out. Alrighty, so saw so him over here on the 80 and uh, got the truck stuck. It was doing fine until the trailer got into that soft area and uh, that passenger side a couple of tires there are in the mud pretty good. But I was trying to roll around and get down here to the bottom to unload the bales because they're so loose I didn't want a chance um, like losing the entire bale basically by the time I got over to where I want to stack it so I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna have to just unload there it's closer than being elsewhere I guess so I'll just uh, have to move very slowly and I'll just stack them up down here on this bottom but uh, yeah so waiting on mom to get back here to give me a ride back to the power station so I can get the tractor and come over here and fix my uh, my dilemma. Thanks mom. Now we gotta get the tractor over and uh, well I guess we're just gonna have to figure this out as we go. Uh, yeah. So we'll head to the 80 
and uh, get the bales unloaded first and then I'll go ahead and uh, try and get the truck out by itself and if it can't do it um, then I'll run home and get the chains and come back with the tractor and uh, try and just pull the truck backwards through all that wet stuff and get it up on the dry so I can at least pull out on the road and yeah fun stuff man fun stuff okay, so I unloaded all the bales they're all over this little rise here and then I got the truck unstuck it actually came out uh, fairly easy and uh, I just brought it out and around on the driest ground I could find but now I'm just going to push off all this uh, hay on the trailer, just push it off onto the side. And then I'm going to load the four-wheeler up on the trailer, but in order to do that, that's why I brought my sockets and ratchets. Uh, i got to take off our little dovetail here, and uh, I'll move the ramps close together so I can get the four-wheeler up here. So We're kind of doing a little bit of a, uh, a farm shuffle, but uh, we're making stuff happen, so... Anyways, I'll, I'll uh, anyways, I'll go get this stuck, the sucker, I can't talk, I'll go get this sucker cleared off, and then get the four-wheeler up here, and then we'll head up and go get those, uh, four bales from the custom job. And just like that, the dovetail is gonna be like that. Alright. Now I got the dovetail sitting over there, but I don't know if these ramps are going to get close enough. They should, but I guess we'll just have to find out for ourselves, huh? Alrighty, I say we give her a shot. Okay. Let's get this circus on the road. Never mind. I gotta close up my box. And then we'll get the circus on the road. Whoops. Alrighty gonna flip this gate out here I don't think the uh, truck would be able to make it Put that gate in the way I don't know that'll work and there's the one bale and then there's three more up there so let's swing in here and grab some hay Unloading the four-wheeler is actually easier than, easier than loading it up. What I did is I just stood beside it and let it kind of walk itself down, so that way I didn't hurt myself. All right, anyway. Grab my coat and gloves, and we'll take off. Alrighty, just gotta roll up those straps. I just put these ramps up uh, like 30 seconds ago. And uh, I gotta slap that dovetail back in there and bolt it down. And then I'll be able to start loading up the bales.
All right, we got the four bales loaded up and uh, we're gonna take off here in a second. So I think we should get home and get this stuff unloaded. Alrighty, so I'm out here, it's the next day, just fixing my uh, problem here. I did the best I can for now. Back here, this is more just where uh, like the weight of the trailer was kind of sinking down. So there's just this bank here that I just went along and pushed down as best I could. I can still do a little bit more. But uh, yeah, I don't know if you guys could tell from the video, but... When I was rolling through here, the trailer got stuck right in here, right where all this standing water is pretty much. Um, there's deeper tire marks back there where it was stuck. And then up here, this is where the truck was. And I wish I had the camera rolling, but I didn't when I got stuck. Because uh, the truck made it all the way through that nasty stuff. Then as soon as I came up and over and the trailer sunk down a little bit, that's when the truck lost all momentum and I was just uh, spinning. So as soon as I felt the truck spin a little bit, I just shut everything down and decided I was done because it's not worth tearing up ground. Even though this is just the cow pasture side of the 80, um, I didn't want to tear up more ground than what's needed, obviously, because it's not good either way. I mean, if you tear up ground, you still can't get grass to go grow as you could before. So hopefully this will come back in the spring. Um, I'll run the harrow over it in the spring, obviously, like normal. And uh, hopefully that'll repair uh, the rest of it. May even need to come out here with a little uh, cedar and throw some grass seed in there. But yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it for this video, you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed and uh please like please subscribe i'll catch you guys in the next one and uh thanks for watching